Whenever I do videos on Premiere Pro, or not whenever, but sometimes when I do videos on Premiere Pro, I'm, uh, I'm messing around with the opacity in the timeline, and um, I, people come back to me and ask me, how are you changing the opacity in, uh, you know, directly in the, in the timeline? And it's really straightforward to do, so I just thought I'd do a very quick video in Premiere to show you exactly how that's done. This is tvcat.com. So when you first drop some clips into the timeline in Premiere Pro, it's probably going to look something like this. Well, obviously not exactly like this because everyone has their uh, workspace laid out slightly differently, but probably something like this. And the main thing to, to notice is the fact that these are all really kind of narrow. Uh, Premiere has done that by default for a while. So uh, you can use the scroll wheel if you have one. Uh, I'm not absolutely sure what it would be if you don't have a scroll wheel, but um, I'm sure there's an equivalent, uh, to expand these out. And as you expand them out, there is the bit we're interested in, this line here. And if we hover over here and just hold still, well, it should tell us. In fact, let me just select, make sure it's selected. Yeah, there we go. So we can sort of see that this particular line is set to opacity at the moment, and the opacity is set to 100. And we can do the same on audio as well. So by default, audio, audio, this middle line here, will be at 0 dB, and we can drop it. We can push it up to 6 dB, or we can drop it down. And you can change what is affected by this by right-clicking on this little bit here. If I can zoom right in here, I'll see this little section here. We can right-click on there, and you can ch do, change various bits of motion and the opacity, and you can also do speed remapping as well using this method. It's a bit weird to do, actually, speed remapping. But anyway, so all we do... If we want to fade down this clip, we can press Z on the keyboard. We can zoom into the section we want and maybe just zoom in, maybe just fade out this last section. Go back to V, which is the selection tool, and we hold down Control. And as we hold down Control, you see there's a plus symbol now on the, uh, the little cursor there. Click on there, and it adds a keyframe. Do the same here. Click on plus, and then we just hover over that. And with this, this is with nothing held down. Click and drag it down, and we can obviously adjust the fade out. So as we track across that now, it fades out. Nice and easy. And if we want to tighten up that fade, well, we can just click on it and drag it tighter, or we can extend it out, or we can extend extend this one out. So you can adjust it however you want. And if you want to um, delete those, that's pretty straightforward to do. You can just... Um, click on it like that so it's highlighted and then just hit delete on the keyboard that deletes one of them you still see that we've got the other one down here uh, but it's this single keyframe now is pulling our opacity down to zero so if i delete that one it pushes it back up to 100 again so uh, yeah there we go that's pretty much all all you have to do it's a bit more awkward to do with audio because it's you know if you once you've moved it once it's difficult to get back exactly on that zero db mark but it uh, doesn't matter too much and you can always expand these out a little bit more to give you a bit more room on an individual track and then uh, close it back up again. But uh, that's all you have to do. Just hold down control and do plus to take those, add those on. If you do want to go a little bit further, then you can carry on adding them. You can add as many as you like on here, really. You can, you know, have this fade up and then down and up again and, you know, do different things like that. And if you go close to your keyframe, you'll see that you get that slightly different symbol there. And if you click on that then with control, you get this that familiar Bezier option that allows you to do a non-linear fade, basically. So this will obviously be linear. It'll start at one speed, carry on, but we can do a, we can have a Bezier handles here to do a non-linear fade and change it, uh, change the curve of the fade. So that's kind of quite nice too. And again, we can just click on that and delete the keyframe like that, click on that one, delete that keyframe, click on that and delete that, and click on that, delete that. And everything you do is reflected up at the top as well. So, you know, you can, if you want that finer control, you can go in there and do it at the top. So we see now that at the top here, we have all those keyframes that we've added. And if we want, yeah, if we want a little bit more, if we want to, control those a little bit more we have to expand out the opacity section here and then we can do our standard ease in ease out and uh, and all those type of bezier curves or linear curves directly from the normal keyframe area so uh, really straightforward to do thanks for watching and i'll see you soon